What's up, everybody? Welcome to Very Not Bad Reviews. I finally got around to it. Finally saw the first two episodes of Night Flyer. I shouldn't say finally. Hadn't been out that long. Missed like a day. Day late or something like that. But anyways, finally got around to watching the first two episodes. Pretty good first two episodes. Can't wait to see where we're going with this. I've been hyped for this for a hot minute. Horror, sci-fi, my two favorite genres. George R. R. Martin, the guy that gave you Game of Thrones. This can't fail. Now, I have heard that this is a book. Haven't read the book. Only watching the show, so. Might read the book, find out what's going on with that. The books tend to be better than the shows and the movies. So after watching the first two episodes, I'm actually surprised this show is getting all the hate that it's receiving. This show's pretty good in my opinion. This show does seem to throw a lot at you at once, but not in a bad way. In a good way. You get your mystery. You know, visually, the show is pretty good so far. So you have your crew and you have your spaceship. The Night Flyer is what the spaceship is called. It's supposed to be the most advanced spaceship ever created. They're on a mission to make contact with an alien spacecraft. They refer to them as Vulcans. I hope they're not Star Trek Vulcans. Sounds like somebody's going to get sued. So along on this mission, they decide to bring a telepath. They refer to them as L1s in hopes that the L1 will be able to help them communicate with the Vulcans. And basically, from the jump of this mission, strange things start happening. Malfunctions on the ship. People start seeing things. It starts to go down for this crew. The pacing of this show definitely seems to be on point. Now, I'm not going to go out there and say it's the best show in the world or anything like that. But it's definitely very good and worth a watch. As I said, it definitely feels like we're building towards something great. Now, it's really hard for me to gauge whether the show is going to be good or not on the first two episodes. But the first two episodes were interesting enough for me to come back and want to watch some more. So I'll definitely be watching episodes three and four. If you're a horror or a sci-fi fan like this guy right here, check it out. It comes on sci-fi. It's been coming on every day, 10 p.m. You can watch it on demand if you have that. Or you can just go to sci-fi.com and watch the episodes on that. But I definitely recommend you check this out. So yeah, if you've seen the show and you're excited where the show is going, comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you haven't seen the show, if you're excited to see the show, comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts too. Until next time.